Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a new range bag. Well, I've had it for probably two months now, but this is the first time I'm really using it. So I wanted to show you guys my bag and what I've got in it in case anybody's interested. I also thought I'd show you guys the bag that I used to use, which I also liked, and it's just another option if anybody's you know, looking to go to the range and they need to carry stuff. So anyway, we had a friend come to our house to do some shooting about two months ago, and he had this bag in particular, and he was talking about how much he loved it. Uh, he got it from Amazon, and I will leave all the information in the link down below. All right, so let's get into the bag itself. This is the Explore Range Bag with Large Padded Deluxe Tactical Divider. That's how it's written in the listing on Amazon. This bag is in OD green. They come in three different colors, black, coyote tan, and green, and it costs $64. All right, I'm gonna sit while I show you this bag. As you can see, this is a book bag style of range bag. It has different pockets on each side. This side has three pockets and this side has two. And I don't have it packed with everything that I want in it just yet. There are a few other things that I wanna to add to it. And after I show you, if you guys have other suggestions of things that you think I should keep in my range bag, just let me know that down below. Each pocket has this little Velcro piece where you can stick extra magazines, which is cool. Um, in this pocket, I keep a uh, cleaning kit basically I have a Ziploc baggie and in here I have some cleaner and I have another little baggie in here that has little wipes in it and some q-tips I have a rag and I also just have this little sample cleaning lubricant thing in the bag with it so on the zipper, I just keep this damsel in defense alarm and flashlight. Just a cool little emergency thing. It's super loud, so if there was an emergency, I could just hit the alarm button and people in the house could hear it. Okay, in this pocket, I have one extra magazine. This is for my SIG. I have another extra magazine for my Glock and I can't find it. I was tearing apart um, the house and I don't know what happened to it. I also keep in this pocket two on the waistband holsters. So if I wanna practice my um, draw from the hip kind of shooting, I have this Black Dog Concealment Holster for my SIG. And I also keep in here the Alien Gear Shape Shift Belt Slide option. I think that's what this one is called. So this one is for my Glock 43. On the other side, in the top pocket, I have two pair of safety glasses, one with the yellow and one is clear. They're just cheap, plain safety glasses, nothing special there. In this middle pocket, I have hearing protection. Two different kinds, I also have some more in the bag. I have the regular little orange earplug things, which I'm not a big fan of because they always pop out of my ears. I can't make them stay in, but they're really good to have in a pinch if you have extra people show up. And these are my favorite ones. I prefer these type of hearing protection over uh, earmuffs because the earmuffs typically hurt my head. Uh, but these are really super comfortable. And I think I got three pairs of these for about $6. I ordered them on Amazon, but you can get them anywhere. And for the life of me, I cannot remember the name brand of these. I believe it starts with the letter P but I cannot think of it. Anyway, I did a uh, blog post on these. I'll link that down below if anybody's interested in reading that. And I will also link these where I got them from Amazon down below. In the bottom pocket, which is bigger than the top two pockets, I keep some bug spray because our range is in the backyard and there's a lot of bugs back here. And I have some band-aids. I know I probably need like a first aid kit of some sort in here, which I don't have. If you guys have a recommendation for um, a good first aid kit for the range, let me know. But for right now, all I've got is some band-aids. So this top part has a place where you can put some patches. I don't have any yet, but I plan on getting some. Inside, it has these dividers and there's Velcro on the top and bottom and on the dividers. So you can uh, put these wherever you want them or 
put less dividers in depending on what you want to put in each compartment. It comes with four dividers on the top and five on the bottom. And it also has a piece of wood, I think it's wood, that sticks in the bottom of each of these compartments and it gives it a lot of structure. So as you can see, I just have some ammo in the top of mine and because I have different guns, I have different ammo. So I put it by types. So in here, I have some 38 Special, I have some 9 mil, and some 380 and some extra 380 back here. So yeah, that's what I keep in the top and there's more room for more ammo if I wanted to put it in there, but it does get kind of heavy for me. And down on the bottom is where I keep the good stuff. I've got three of my guns down here and I also have two pair of electronic earmuffs. So I have a Ruger LCR and I keep that in a Remora holster. I have my Glock 43 in here and I keep that inside of this Bravo concealment holster. And the last gun I keep in my bag is the SIG P238. Uh, I keep that in this Vetter holster. I also wear this holster a lot. This is one of my favorites. So this holster is great to wear and to keep the gun nice and secure in the bag. So then I use this last divider to store these two pair of earmuffs. So I have the Howard Light Impact Sport here. And I also have the Razor earmuffs from Walkers. Again, I have a lot more information about both of these earmuffs on my blog. So if you're interested in more of my thoughts on these, go check that out. But neither one of these fit my head very well and they squeeze my head and they make my ears hurt. So I don't wear them, but I keep them in my bag because my kids like them. And um, if anybody else is down here shooting with us, they can always use these. Most people do like both of these. They're very highly rated. I think I'm just a big weirdo that doesn't really like earmuffs. All right, so that is it for what is inside of the bag. And on the outside of the bag, it has little loops that you can attach things to. So I just have this flashlight. It's a J5 tactical flashlight hooked onto there. It also has this pouch thing on the side here, which might be really good for rolled up targets. And it has a pouch thing back here, which I read online could be for laptops, but I don't know who has a laptop that small, maybe a tablet or something, or maybe small targets could fit in here. So that's about all I've got to say about this bag. If you're looking for something like this, you might want to check this one out. Like I said, it's $64 on Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. Uh, so yeah, I thought I would show you guys what I used to carry. So if you're a girl and you're not really interested in this giant backpack, there's definitely other options. This actually is not a range bag at all. At least it's not sold for that purpose. It's actually not sold at all anymore. I got this from a friend of mine who used to sell bags from a company called GG Hill and the company went out of business but I bought this bag maybe 10 years ago and this has been one of the best bags I've ever owned just for general purpose. It's basically a weekender bag or some sort of travel bag. A lot of companies sell stuff like this. I know 31 sells bags like this and you can probably find stuff like this at even Target. Also a great alternative for range bags are camera bags. I've seen a lot of really cute giant camera bags on sale at Amazon and other places. And they come in all kinds of designs. But the thing about camera bags is that they typically have a ton of storage options on the inside, which is great for, you know, putting different magazines, different guns, ammo, whatever you want to carry. Camera bags are an amazing option. So on the inside of this bag, you can see it's really big and roomy. It has vinyl on the inside, so it's easy to wipe out. I still have some crap in here. I haven't cleaned it out fully, but it has pockets running along the side. And it also has pouches over here. The thing that I really liked about this though was the handles. The handles were really well made on these um, metal rings and there's leather on here. And so they were really sturdy and they could hold heavy things. Something like this, of course, you have to carry it over your shoulder, which can be kind of tough on that one shoulder. So a book bag might be easier. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this video. If y'all have any further questions about this bag or uh, good things to carry to the range in general, just ask those down below. I hope you all are having a great week and I will see you guys soon. Bye.